January 21st, 2022 marks 50 years since the northeastern states of Manipur, Meghalaya and Tripura attained statehood. Taking to Twitter on Friday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi wished the people of the three states and prayed for their constant progress. But what exactly is the significance of this day for these states as well as the region and how did these three states even come to be formed 50 years ago? Let me tell you more in this video. So following India's independence from the British rule back in 1947, the Northeast region only consisted of Assam and the princely states of Tripura and Manipur. Then there was the Northeast Frontier Agency or NEFA, which was a political division under the British and had been retained at the time of the independence, which later went on to become first the Union Territory of Arunachal Pradesh and later the state of Arunachal Pradesh. So at the time of independence, Tripura was ruled by Queen Kanchan Prabhadevi of the Manikya dynasty, while Manipur was being ruled by the Maitai monarch Maharaja Bodh Chandra Singh. Both Manipur and Tripura had signed the instrument of accession at the time, it was a legal document that was being used to enable the rulers of such princely states under the British regime to either join India or Pakistan. But it wasn't until 1949 that both states signed the merger agreement. So interestingly, there are reports according to which Maharaja Bodhchandra Singh had gone to Shillong for some work and had been put under house arrest in his residence till he agreed to sign the agreement. There are also reports which claim that the Queen of Tripura was also pressured into signing the merger agreement. Eventually, both Tripura and Manipur were given the Part C status, which means that they were among a group of states that were governed by the chief commissioners appointed by the President of India. Neither Tripura or Manipur were happy about being given such a status and protests and demands for full statehood soon followed, especially in Manipur, which resulted in the state being upgraded to a union territory in 1956. Tripura too was granted UT status in the same year. Meanwhile, in the Sam Plain Hills, six autonomous districts, namely the United Khasi and Jaintia Hills, Garo Hills, Lushai Hills, Naga Hills, North Kachar Hills and Mikir Hills had been constituted. Then in 1960, a movement began for a separate hill state comprising the United Khasi Jaintia Hills and the Garo Hills. About four years later, we see that in Manipur, there was also a rise of a secessionist movement. In fact, insurgency in Manipur, as we've seen in the last couple of years, has its roots back in this time with the formation of the United National Liberal Front or UNLF, which was formed in 1964. The UNLF had raised issues over the alleged forced merger of Manipur uh, with India and the delay in conferring it a full statehood. Then in December 1971, a day before the formal conclusion of the Bangladesh war, the Indian parliament passed the Northeastern Areas Reorganization Act, which proposed the establishment of the states of Manipur and Tripura, the formation of the state of Meghalaya and the Union ter Territories of Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh. Over a month later, the three states, Manipur, Tripura and Meghalaya, achieved full statehood. This is Angna Chakrabarti reporting for The Print. To watch more videos as well as explainers of the current happenings from the Northeast, please log on to theprint.in and follow us on our social media handles.